So in the spirit of uh, people that have been posting the 50 things I've done in my life chain, or uh, Donkey June's uh, version of random stuff that she's done to give you an idea of who she is, I'm going to do um, random things that have happened to me in my life to give you an idea of why I've ended up such a twisted human being. <laughs> Um, I was thinking about this today, because um, usually when I work I do stuff that's repetitive and it gives my mind a chance to wander, that's where I do a lot of uh, the thinking I do during the day. And I was thinking about different odd things that have happened to me, so I thought I'd list off a couple of them for, uh, to you from, uh, I'm going to do them in, um, in, in order from youth to where I am today. <laughs> to give you an idea of the kind of stuff that I've had I've had happen to me in my life. Uh, Alright, so let me let me start from the beginning. I grew up I grew up in Philly obviously so some of this stuff happened there. When I was uh, three years old, I almost electrocuted my father to death by uh, throwing a glass of water into the open back of the television that he was working on because he uh, popped a fuse, or uh, popped a, a tube, and I saw smoke coming out of the back of the TV. So I went into the kitchen, grabbed a glass of water, and, and ran into the living room and threw it <laughs> into the back of the television, almost killing my father. You know, and there are many times in my life where I really wish I did. Um, around the same age, um, I was about three years old, I uh, used to live on the, the second floor apartment building. It, well, it was a second floor apartment. It was above a butcher shop right around the corner from the Italian market um, in South Philly, if you guys know where that is. And uh, I had... <coughs> the way this apartment was set up was there's this long set of stairs that leads up to the actual apartment itself. So at, a, at three, year, three years old, wearing nothing more than a t-shirt and a pair of socks, I carried... Um, a chair down this long flight of steps, unlocked the door, <coughs> walked out of the house, and went f like six blocks crossing two major streets to an Acme, which is a supermarket, and wandered around until one of the store clerks found me. Um, I had lost my socks between my, my apartment and the store, so he took me in the back and put, put some socks on me. Um, I ended up wandering back to my house somehow and almost got kidnapped by a little old woman. <laughs> um, when I was uh, six years old, on my way to Catholic school, because I had to walk to school and I walked to school by myself when I was six, um, I tried to hijack a uh, big rig because I thought it would have been cool to drive to school in one. Um, sadly, my feet couldn't reach the clutch of the gas and I didn't know how to drive a big rig, so when the driver came out, um, I told him I thought it was my dad's. So luckily, I didn't get in trouble for that. Um, let's see. That was when I was six. Uh, I lost my virginity when I was eight years old. Uh, don't ask. <laughs> it wasn't my idea, actually. Um, it was an older woman. And by older, I mean she was two years older. So it was a ten-year-old girl who had seduced me, an eight-year-old boy, into a sexual activity. So maybe that gives you an idea of why I'm such a twisted individual. Um... Let's see. Uh, let's see, that was when I was uh, eight. When I was 13, I uh, used to dress up in a, a martial arts outfit and exercise in my front yard using rocks because I thought it was cool. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, back up a little bit. When I, was, uh, when I was 10, this is back when I was still in Philly, I used to break into churches. I actually... Uh, I broke into a Catholic high school through the basement window. Um, I broke in, the, the window was already loose, so I sort of broke in and I fell 10 feet and landed on my ass and almost broke my coccyx, 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 because I landed straight on it and I think I may have uh, splintered it or fractured it because for a couple years after that I used to get sharp pains right at the base of my spine. Um, so yeah, when I, was, when I was 13, I used to exercise in a martial arts uniform in my front yard. Um, when I was 15, and this is when you start getting into more twisted stuff, when I was 15, I used to uh, wander around with butcher knives in my, in my, underneath my trench coat. Um, I went into the graveyard on Halloween with a group of people who were trying to convince me that we were all going to go to Middle Earth, like, 
Tolkien's Middle Earth. Yeah, and, um, uh, yeah, and actually wandered around the graveyard for about four hours looking for the portal to lead us to this place. Um, let's see. I think uh, that's that's pretty much some of the stuff that happened to me in my youth. We start getting into the older things uh, when I was let's see, when I was uh, seventeen. I had gone to Colorado and inadvertently had pissed off every gang at the high school. And I'm talking about like real gangs, you know, like the Bloods and the Crips. And they had a couple that were specific to Colorado Springs, uh, the Four Corner Hustlers and the BRGs, which was this new Mexican gang. Um, I had made friends with several lieutenants. Well, yeah, I had made friends with several lieutenants. So each gang thought I was a member of the other gangs because I was seen with the lieutenant of the pre of the so yeah I literally had my my girlfriend at the time had received death threats on my life re received death threats towards me from these different gangs because she was well known and it was because of her kindness that they were actually uh, averted because she told them to stay away but at the same the same uh, within this three months I actually had somebody pull a gun on me and, and confront me thinking I was a member of one of the gangs. It was kind of wacky. Um, I also almost got shot by my best friend at the time because he pointed a loaded rifle at my face, not realizing it was loaded, and me being um, forgetful at, at that point, I had forgotten that my uncle told me that the rifle was loaded. Um, and the reason why I almost got shot was because I told him to get the gun out of my face, so he went into the other room and actually it discharged into the floor. So um, he could have shot me in the <laughs> face with a rifle. Um, let's see, that's when I was 17. When I was uh, 20, I had been, and literally in one year, I had been pulled over by the, the local police and harassed in a matter of months, I'd have to say at least 35, 40 times. Um, I was, I had the police, this is one of my favorite stories, I actually had the police come to my apartment. I was cleaning out my apartment because I was getting ready to move, so I was moving stuff. I was wearing a pair of sneakers and shorts in the middle of the day in the summertime. So imagine 3 o'clock in the afternoon, bright sunny summer day, <laughs> okay, I'm wearing a pair of sneakers and shorts and that's it. Walking out of, my, out of the front door of this apartment complex to go to the basement, carrying a computer monitor, and I come face to face with like five cops who are all thinking that I'm robbing this place at 3 o'clock in the afternoon wearing nothing but shorts. Let me tell you, when it comes to theft, shorts and sneakers is the way to go because it's inconspicuous. Yes, you have no place to hide anything, and that's the beauty of it. Especially if you're going to be moving a 15-inch monitor, and I'm talking about one of them old-school CRT, weighs 4,000-pound monitors. You're going to hide it, you know, I don't know, in my pants. I could have just told them I was well endowed, and I would have gotten away with it. I don't know. Um, I got pulled over once for walking at 2 o'clock in the morning with a friend of mine because I had matched the description of somebody who was um, vandalizing things with graffiti. I was trying to figure out why my friend got pulled over. And then I realized, because this friend of mine, this guy Clayton, he used to wear bright colored shirts, like these stripy shirts. That were like, just, they were just like orange and red. I mean, just these bright colors. And I realized that they pulled us over because I was the graffiti artist, and apparently he was the graffiti. So it makes sense that we both actually got pulled over. Um, on my 21st birthday, I got pulled over. I had a bunch of cops point guns at me. And uh, they made me get out of the car, and that's a long story I may tell later. But yeah, I, I, I was doing the Macarena for a little while. Um, when the event was over, my friend Clayton, who was with me again at the time, thought I was we were going to get shot because, and I quote, "You're a smartass, and you were going to piss off the cops." That's what he, that's what he told me. Um, let's see, when I was uh, 20, 22. That's when I moved to California, and within the first week of being in California, I got pulled over for walking. Uh, the irony being that nobody in California walks, apparently, so I was a criminal in that case. Those are just some of the things that I've had happen to me. As you can see, I've had a lot of run-ins with the, with the authority uh, authority figures. That might give you a clue as to why I have such a resistance to authority figures, but just a little insight into my life there. Um, if I can think of more stuff, I'll let you know. I've told you some of my high school escapades. Um, maybe one day I will get that Mack truck. <laughs>